Here we go. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. J. Coming to kick you with a little info, a little rundown on his gameplay, and uh, somewhat of a review on the uh, 93 R, 93R, the new uh, go-to handgun, I'm going to say, next to the G18, I guess, for all those uh, close quarters freaking spaz moments. Uh, the first bit of news is the fact that uh, EA has dropped an iOS app for Battlelog. You can now log in to your Battlelog from your iPhone. There is a specific app. It is free. Uh, you can just go download it. It's going to be under EA. And uh, that's kind of cool. You can track all your stats. You can uh, talk to friends, check your, uh, check your friends' stats, all of these things, all from your iPhone now. Uh, no word yet on an Android one, but uh, more than likely it'll be out soon, a little later. As things always do, it trickles down. So, uh, this footage today here I have is a little uh, conquest on Grand Bazaar. I am running the recon kit. I have the uh, Saiga 12 here. And the 93R is uh, secondary. And the 93R has improved a whole lot from pre-patch. After the patch, this thing is so accurate. It uh, The recoil is so much less. It's definitely on par with the G18 now. Uh, the G18 was the uh, handgun to go to because it had such a quick clip size and it was fully auto. And now the uh, 93R with the uh, that reduction in recoil is definitely stepped up. It is very accurate. Uh, the three round bursts are great. I mean it's not like it's it's easier to handle because if it's a three round burst per trigger pull. Like uh, let's say an assault rifle like the M16 as opposed to how the G18 is pretty much a spam. Hold the button and get lucky type of thing. This thing is very accurate. I don't know if uh, people are going to start hating on it because of that. But it's a pretty good handgun now. Definitely a good companion to uh, any kit you're running, anything close quarters where you gonna have to just pull out and uh, hopefully defend yourself in those crucial moments. This is definitely the handgun to go to if you do not, if you're not a good fan of the uh, G18. I'm also running the Saigon here. You know, I'm playing uh, this uh, Grand Bazaar map, one of my favorite maps next to Operation Metro because it is so close quarters and continuous. And we are trying to hold these guys back from uh, C. <laughs> Somehow they seem to have taken our spawn. Not unusual. But uh, the Saiga does a pretty good job. I mean, a lot of people don't really like the fact that it is an automatic shotgun kind of like the USAS but I think it's uh, less spammable than the USAS the uh, fire the, the, the fire rate is not as quick you'll never see me throw any frag rounds on this I completely detest those things I have the flatchet rounds here with the extended mag and no sight and it seems to be pretty doing pretty good you know anything close quarters it's uh it's gonna have the upper hand because you don't have to zoom in and aim no ADS on this just pull the trigger and aim down uh, in the direction you wish to hit and you get results uh, I don't really understand why they would give like a seven times scope for guns like this but whatever I guess Battlefield thought it was funny or maybe uh, they anticipated people would be using the slug round to be uh, pretty effective at a long range I uh, personally did try the slug rounds on the 870 which is a gun they said uh, the new slug rounds were very effective on and I didn't like it I didn't like it at all. The slug rounds, uh, I believe they had, he had an RDS scope, the uh, reflex, and he said it was pretty good. And I found that I was more effective with the flatchet rounds than I was with the slug rounds, which are supposed to be much more accurate. But I felt that it didn't have enough spread. And if you're going to rock the shotgun, you're not looking to be all precise aiming downsides. You're looking to come around the corner and, you know, deal with whoever's there. You're not going to look to aim down the sights. That's going to take away from the surprise. And the time that it takes for you to line up that shot, you could be dead. Meanwhile, you, you know, you just come around the corner, quick hip fire, and you could get one or two kills at least with the flatchet because it is that much quicker. But I guess it's up to everybody, you know, what they like to do, how they like to handle their kits. Uh, another thing I've noticed in these close quarter maps is people don't use their their maps a lot. We have a radar, people. Please use it. Wherever you see, there's all these little uh, crossing bones, like a little pirate flag. That's where your teammates are dying. And more than usually, a lot of people don't run suppressed weapons anymore because they do suck. 
you're going to see a little orange ticker somewhere like I'm going to see around this corner right now. And that just lets me know that the enemy's over there. You know, be cautious. Don't just run around the corner. That is the biggest mistake I see a lot of people do. They come running around the corner not expecting there to be anyone there. And that's when they usually just die. They'll just take two shots and that's it. You have to be aware of your surroundings all the time. Another thing I see constantly happen is people will be next to burning vehicles. And they haven't completely exploded. They just, you know, once. And, or they've just been damaged and the people have bailed out of it. And you'll know, you'll just run by it and you'll and you'll get team killed because your teammates try to take that out. But it didn't blow up and you just happen to run by it. And that's, some of the silliest deaths I've seen have been to that. I'm talking like taking out a whole squad when unfortunately they all happen to spawn there. And you just get four team kills by mistake. And that's it. You're kicked. You know, it's not your fault. I mean, they should really, I guess do something about that or people should just become more aware of what they're doing because that's just silly i i i, I really don't understand that I, I just laugh every time it's happened to me it is so dumb like my teammates will just be so pissed hey they just got three team kills for absolutely no reason but you know it's a game and it, it makes for funny moments i mean there's been so many hilarious moments in this game let alone on this map just watching stupid things happen like the lav i mean you don't really see it that often because, or at least I don't see it that often because I'm always usually fighting people off at A to B or C to B. But I'm never really outside like this. But when you see that thing coming, like it's coming towards us now while we're trying to take the A flag, uh, you're going to head the other way. Uh, you, you really don't want nothing to do with that. Those are like the easiest kills. You, you don't need that. They're, they're going to completely destroy you. They're in armor. You're outside a little Saiga. It's not going to go very well. So you're just going to get away from that and hopefully try to make a little stand here. Hopefully your teammates will come through. You can take this flag and uh, hopefully win the game. I mean, we technically are already winning the game from the score. But you always want to have the, the upper hand. You always want to win by a lot. You, you want to have that good kill-death ratio. And... Uh, don't let people sneak up on you. See, that's where the Tiags came in great. I know that they spawn here until we have complete control of the flag. So, always check your back when you're here. Always. It's the biggest tip you can do whenever you're at B. Always check your back. They will spawn behind you. And uh, that's been uh, the footage for today. Hope I uh, gave you guys some useful info. Hopefully, you guys will uh, like that app. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll use it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you think it's cheesy. Whatever. Your opinion. But, uh... Hopefully you took something from this gameplay. Maybe you people will start using 93R a little more now. They realize that the uh, the recoil has gone down. It's a whole lot more usable. Maybe people start using the Saiga a bit more instead of the damn USAS. Hopefully, you know, you guys take something away from this. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm trying to build something here. Go watch my other videos. See if you can take anything from any of those. And uh, enjoy your day. Later.